There was a time where the scalpers would hang out out here and resell their tickets for cash. But that game has largely changed, is now almost entirely online. An $8 billion a year global industry that moves at lightning speed. Scalpers can buy up mass quantities of tickets and resell them within seconds. And this Blue Jays home opener, no exception. And a fastball drilled, center field and deep. Opening day is almost always a sellout, and so it's a good moneymaker for scalpers. We decided to take a closer look in a first-of-its-kind investigation. We tracked every seat for today's game. Almost 46,000 seats went up for sale in the online box office, and they were quickly bought up, and then thousands reappeared on resale websites. More than 20,000 tickets showed up for sale on Tickets Now, SeatGeek, Vivid Seats, and StubHub. In all, 45% of all seats for the game. Scalpers standing to make millions in profits. Now, if the scale of the scalping surprises you, what about this? The Jays are actually in on it. They and other Major League Baseball teams have struck deals with StubHub, the largest of the resale websites. They get a cut of every single ticket resold through StubHub. Essentially, they're profiting from the scalping of their own tickets. We share in the profits with the teams of any ticket that is sold. And so for the Blue Jays, you know, this is just for something like opening day, that's just added revenue that they're going to get. They're going to sell out their game regardless. And now they're benefiting from whatever sales that we do on top of that. Now this profit sharing between StubHub and Canada's only Major League Baseball team has never been revealed before. The Jays won't talk about the partnership or the money that they're quietly making through scalpers. But the team CEO did tell Sportsnet that they are embracing this new market they expect today's game won't just be a sellout, it will be the biggest moneymaker in this stadium's history. Dave Seglin, CBC News, Toronto.